All right, so there is, there's elected officials. You said there's six trustees, a mayor. Um, you mentioned one other position. I don't know if it's clerk. 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 Do you also have a, a city manager? Uh, we do not. Okay. Oh, there is no city manager. Yeah. So who runs the day-to-day -day operations? Well, the, the mayor. Uh, a lot well, of, mayor does, a lot okay. of things fall on her desk. Um, and, um, you know, I, I give her a lot of credit. She, she, she's done a great job. We've, uh, actually, I'm coming into my, uh, the end of my first year as a trustee. Is the mayor a full-time position? Trustees are not, right? Uh, no, technically the mayor is not a full-time position either, um, but you could definitely make it a full-time job. There's so, so, I mean, does she come in every day, like a nine-to-five job, and she runs, there's no, I'm, the reason I'm asking is because I'm used to village managers. Usually there's a village manager appointed by the mayor. So that, that's why I was just questioning yeah. is there is no village manager. We don't, uh, we don't have uh, a need to have a full-time city manager. Uh, mm -hmm. We couldn't afford it, uh, for one thing. Okay. Wow, it's you know, let's, pretty let's, lean, let's back yeah. up there just for a second. I, I don't know that everyone is familiar with that term city manager. I mean, maybe some people are, some people aren't, but a lot of a lot of towns, villages, cities, um, although they have the elected officials, there also is a, a full time person whose job is to make sure everything does get run on a day to day basis. Oh, yeah. And sort of I don't know if it, it reports up to the the I think and tell me maybe you'd be more familiar that the city manager typically has to come in front of the trustees or mm -hmm. the city council yeah. or in the mayor and sort of give reports and that's who sort of they, they, uh, they, they sort of more act like a board of directors and here's the guy who runs it and he reports it. Right. Yeah, they're like, like an advisor. Board, <coughs> and, you know, oh, okay. I didn't know that. So, you know, basically, uh, you know, like I said, we don't have one, so I really can't speak 100% as to what we do, but, uh, you know, larger um, communities like, uh, you know, Park Ridge and uh, Mount Prospect, Niles. Uh, I mean, they are just massive compared to what we have, and they would need someone to manage that uh, city and its business. How many full-time employees do they have in the village for 8,000 people? I, well, I, uh, you know, I don't know if I can. Uh, we have uh, approximately 50 employees. Uh, I don't think they're all full-time, but uh, you know, in, in uh, the lion's share of that uh, is is our police department. I didn't know that. That's that's news. See, and I always wonder is when where I live. I live uh, uh, in the Schaumburg area, and I know that like uh, Palatine Township, which I lived in for a while, they don't have a police department. They have their own village hall and everything, but they use the Cook County Sheriff's Police right. for all their enforcements. And I just thought that that was. I never understood the the how do you how do you, well it has to be taxes obviously. I mean somebody has to pay for it, but I would always wonder what determines whether or not. You use the county or the state, I and mean, it's interesting because you go down 62, which is Algonquin, and you see the state repairing potholes and doing all this mm -hmm. stuff there. And I'm always wondering, well, why isn't it Schaumburg? Why isn't it Lily yeah. Meadows? And I always wondered, how does that work from a taxing standpoint? Well, it's a, it, it, it depends. You know, the roads, uh, like uh, for example, uh, right now, Gunnison Avenue from Harlem to Nagel is being uh, resurfaced and they're replacing curbs and whatnot, that is a state highway, so IDOT handles that, okay. whereas uh, like uh, Oak Park Avenue, um, Montrose, uh, some of our arterial streets are uh, village property, so we are the ones who uh, maintain those. So, so every every street it has a designation as to whether it's state or... Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, so like Fort Preserve Drive is a state highway, Harlem, Harlem Avenue is a state highway, and, and they are, the state is the one that... Um, you know, plows them in the winter and uh, maintains them as far as potholes and things of that nature. So, so when we get our usual big snows, there there are certain roads that you, as the village, are going to be responsible for, and uh, other roads that the state will be responsible for. Right. So, if the state's not out there doing your, they're doing their job, but you guys get out and clean all your stuff up to your residents, they still might look at it and go, oh, "Why didn't they get that road clear?" You know? Well, because they don't. I mean, I, I never knew that the destination. I don't know. Most people have a little, little question about that. But you know, I think uh, you know most of our residents, like I say, we're you know we're a small community, and uh, you know they know what streets that we're responsible for, and we have an excellent public works uh, group. That uh, I mean, it, it's 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 like a family there. 
going to say hi to any of those folks as long as uh, you're here? Or do they, or are they uh, under quote from Dag or they don't want their names to you? <laughs> uh, just in general, wave mm-hmm. out to them. Thanks yeah. for all the good work you do. Well, well we, do, we do get compliments from the, you know, because, uh, you know, mostly you, you, you hear people are quick to criticize and complain, I says, but we do have residents that do pass along compliments. And, uh, and I bring them up in our board meetings, and I you know say so I just want to, and, and I will call them, and I say, you know, you got, you got another uh, attaboy. <laughs> how often? Uh, how much time does this take of, you, of yours, and, and how often do you meet? And, and, and let me uh, take this step further. Do you meet like with a committee on, on your particular area? You guys meet as a big group. Tell me the like what you guys have to do as far as your meeting times and breakdown of you know as the main group, all the trustees, or your committee, or whatever. Well, we have uh, regular board meetings on the second and fourth Thursdays of the month. And are those open to the public or are those yes. closed? Okay.